Hello, all you wonderful fools. It's time for the Mr. T Show. All aboard! Here we go. Let's start the show. Hosted by Mr. T. Nintendo video games are the favorite ones for me. News and review some gameplay too. Battling drones is what I do. M-I-Z. C-A-H is the show of Ms. A T. It's the show of Ms. A T. Ooh. Hey there, fools. Big T here, and it's finally time for my Video Game Room Tour 2019. I've been kind of teasing this video for a while. You guys have uh, responded on Twitter to my poll about wanting to see it or not. Um, I did a prelim video uh, basically talking about a character I'm going to be calling Stan, but Stan, as I'm calling him, and you'll see him pop up uh, when he's relevant to uh, parts of this video, uh, did give me some items in my collection, and he's very salty as of late uh, for whatever reasons. And uh, so I just wanted to point out the stuff that I got from him. And uh, if you want to know what I'm talking about there, go check out my video called I'm a Fraud. Uh, you definitely should probably do that because, like I said, I'm going to be referencing stuff that I set up in that video. The character of Stan uh, will pop up for when uh, he's relevant. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start this tour. Uh, it's going to be a long video, so get your popcorn ready. <laughs> uh, kick back and enjoy it. Uh, I just want to preface this by saying uh, I don't have like the showy, flashy game room. Um, I don't like in myself that kind of collector where it's like, oh, I got to have all these shelves and I'm going to have like, you know, cool lighting and all that stuff. That's just not me. I buy games that I want to play. Sometimes I end up stuff with I, that I wasn't looking for because I'll buy it like a, a, a lot. Um, you know, there's like a PS2 lot or a PSP lot um, on eBay or something and I'll buy a bulk of games that way because it's cheap. So I do end up with stuff that I wasn't looking for, but most of my games I have played, I would say about 85% to 90% I've actually played. Um, and the ones that I haven't played are the games that I didn't really want. <laughs> like I said, I just kind of ended up with them. Occasionally I will buy the collector's editions of stuff because I just think they look cool, but I buy games I want to play. I'm not the kind of showy, flashy, collector. Not that there's anything wrong with being a collector because obviously I am one. I'm just a different, I'm on a different tier than a lot of people. My collection is probably around 1100 games or so. And you know, as far as like having the cool shells, like I mentioned earlier, I don't have that. I like to be, be able to access my games quickly and you'll see what I'm talking about in the video. And I also don't like dust. Uh, I'm, my allergies go bananas. I'm, you know, I'm a chronic allergy sufferer and just having dusty shelves everywhere isn't a thing for me. That's why I kind of like to keep my games in bins, uh, storage bins that with easy access, as you'll see. So if you're wondering why don't I have these elaborate shelves or just shelves in general, um, I like quick, easy access to my games and I don't want the dusty shelves that I have to clean and drive my allergies insane. With that being said, let's get it started. All right, here we are outside the door of my glorious, glorious game room. Oh, it's not really that glorious. It's just a cool little spot where I like to come chill away from everything, play my games. You guys see Sonic over there in the corner. There's my two storage bins there for my N64 and many other games. It's a good look at my, my table where I make all the magic happen. And uh, yeah, so there's that. There's my amiibos on the wall. There's my TV. There's some posters. Astral Chain, of course. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Star Fox Zero. Uh, Yankee Stadium over there in the corner. Because I'm a Yankees fan. New York, big up. And there's some game magazines, some, uh, some comics down there. There's my gaming PC. There's my MacBook. Or not my MacBook, my Mac Pro. Um, and. Uh, some other stuff down there. We'll get to that in a minute. These are my Wii games collection. Uh, you'll see most of them here, but some of them are in other areas. Uh, this got Metal Slug Anthology, which I love to death. Um, shout out SNK. Scarface, Epic Mickey uh, 2, or Ep Epic Mickey, the first one. A Boy in His Blob, Star Wars, Force Unleashed, Muramasa, Mushroom Men, Endless Ocean Games, 
Fragile Dreams, just great stuff. Pandora's Tower, Fire Emblem. Sakura Wars, Bakugan, The Blob 1 and 2, Sin and Punishment, uh, Trauma Center, the series there, Fishing Resort, Wii Music, the classic <laughs> Overlord, Bully, Super Paper Mario, the Red Steel series, Conduit series, No More Heroes series, Samurai Warriors 3, Blazing Angels, really good game, Excite Truck, uh, the Secret Saturdays, really good game, surprisingly. Kirby's Epic Yarn and Sonic Colors. I'm gonna slide on over to my Wii U games here. We got Epic Mickey 2, Legend of K, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, uh, you know, Sonic A Lost World, Lego City Undercover, uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Assassin's Creed 3, the Scribble Knot series on Wii U, uh, Darksiders 2, which was one of my favorites on Wii U. Super Mario 3D World, Pokken Tournament, uh, Tekken Tournament, uh, Wii U Edition, which is greatness. Uh, Deus Ex, which is also awesome. Um, Star Fox Guard, Star Fox Zero, Pikmin 3, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, that greatness. Tokyo Mirage Session Sharp FE, that greatness. Uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, Wonderful 101, also greatness. Devil's Third, yeah, yeah. Then my Amiibos on the wall, Tweedledee, Chibi Robo, and we have Kid Icarus, uh, Pit, you know. Uh, we got Yoshi Plushy from Woolly World. Uh, we got Ike and Lucas uh, from Earthbound, obviously. Uh, my boy Wario, Wario, one of my mains. Uh, we also have Olimar with the Pikmin. And here's one of my favorite possessions of all time uh, that my daughter made for me. And now we have Jigglypuff, Sonic, Sheik, and uh, Pac-Man over on this wall. And uh, as you can see, Link there standing on top of Lady Urbosa who is flatlined. <laughs> She's just laying down and uh, we'll get into that in a minute. We have Ocarina of Time Link, uh, Mifa from uh, Breath of the Wild obviously. One of the champions, uh, Mewtwo, who was frightening, and uh, Detective Pikachu. <laughs> you saw that movie. Uh, now back to Lady Urbosa over here's flatline. A lot of people think that I just keep my amiibos stuck in the, uh, the boxes, but they're actually open. I cut the sides so I can still display them. So I can take them out, put them back in as I wish. Uh, I'm guessing Mifa, or not Mifa, uh, Lady Urbosa here must have fell off the wall and I just didn't put it back together, but Ike, uh, Lucina, all the Fire Emblem great, uh, greats, Marth, uh, Rosetta Ichiko, which is uh, Rosalina, it's the Japanese version obviously, the wonderful uh, uh, Guardian and uh, Shovel Knight, you got Callie and Marie from Splatoon, there's Inkling Boy and Inkling Girl. Yep, and uh, we got some Disney Infinity characters as well. And you know who they are. And they're Bayonetta under them, both versions of Bayonetta um, from one and two. Um, you have, uh, what's her name from Brave? I can't think of her name right now. You have Cloud, uh, you have Stitch, you have Ryu. And here's uh, my loose amiibos here over on the table here. Um, and I got my Pokeball with some Pokemon inside and uh, my two PSPs right there and all of their glory. And then we go back to uh, Samus Returns Metroid uh, Amiibos there. And we have the classic Nintendo characters, Game & Watch, Rob and uh, Duck Hunt and Dog. So that's cool. Then we go to Sonic here from the Sonic Mania Collector's Edition. There's the fake faux cart, I should say, not fake, with the ring in it. Uh, looks just like a Sega Genesis cartridge, which is pretty cool. And so does the stand look like a Sega Genesis. Sega! Right there, complete with the Sega sound. Uh, the Sega screen, not the Sega screen, but the uh, Sega, which is pretty cool. And in the box here, um, I'm utilizing all that I can. Uh, so. 
there's games inside there, but here's another look at the ring and the cartridge, the faux cartridge for Sonic Mania, which is, again, very cool for the collector's edition. But inside here, I have my PS1 games. Uh, I have a bunch of uh, Sega Dreamcast games and also uh, Sega Saturn uh, games, mostly the imports, because the Japanese import come in the small, smaller sleeves. And here we have Fear Effect 2, and then a uh, new case that I bought. Here's Fear Effect 1. Yes, I'm a Fear Effect fan. Supposed to be out on uh, Switch and other consoles. Uh, at some point, uh, the remaster, or the uh, remake or whatever of the uh, first game. So looking forward to that. Here's Tomb Raider Chronicles. I'm a huge Tomb Raider fan. Starting with the original, I played the first one on Sega Sega Saturn. And we have uh, Vampire Hunter, uh, Dark, Dark Stalkers fighting game. Then we have Soul, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, which is an awesome game. If you haven't played it, you gotta play that. Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. The later Tomb Raider games, you know, didn't have the oomph the original ones did, but they're okay. We got Crash Warped. Um, this is the second one, I believe, right? Or, yeah. Uh, Fighting Vipers. Uh, for that, actually, the US one is inside there. Uh, Sega Bass Fishing. Um, then we have Crazy Taxi. Uh, I think Sega Bass Fishing came from Stan. I'm not sure. Then we have uh, Crash 2. Uh, as you can see there. Uh, I guess I lost the booklet at some point. So. Kind of did that to it. Then we have Crash Team Racing, which is all the rage. <laughs> the remake right now. Um, and we have Quake 3 Arena, uh, which I picked up after my friend showed me Quake on his computer. Uh, then we have Final Fantasy uh, 9 here, which is, again, I'm missing the booklet for. I don't know what happened to my booklets on some of these games, but... Um, all the discs are here at least, right? So, there's that. Then we have Final Fantasy uh, 7, which you guys surely know. Uh, all these games are out on Switch right now, I think, because um, 8 was the last standout. Uh, Tony uh, Hawk's Pro Skater 2, which is a classic. Uh, then we have Virtual On, which I have a case for this. I don't know where it is, though. So I guess I just threw it in there. Nights into Dreams, that classic from the Sega Saturn, which I love to death. Uh, then we have uh, 40 Winks, Move Over Mario, <laughs> which came out recently for the N64, new game. Uh, Ape Escape, uh, that classic that used the DualShock. The first game I believe they used DualShock on PlayStation 1. Uh, then we have uh, Albert Odyssey there. Siphon Filter 2, uh, Clockwork Knight was also in that little mix there, uh, Gran Turismo, uh, the original, the one that started it all, uh, Tekken 3, classic Siphon Filter, I became a fan on PS1 and Siphon Filter later on, and here is my, this is my 32X, uh, Stan actually uh, got me, gave me his 32X. Um, it's still in the box, as you'll see in a minute, but this one is mine. Uh, I can't find the hookups for it, and um, Star Wars is uh, mine. I bought that game long ago, so let's put this back together and uh, move on to the next segment, which is there's Lady Urbosa back in her glory. Yeah, that's how she should be. Standing up, standing proud, strong woman, Lady Urbosa. Now, here's my cartridge based uh, games mostly over here and a bunch of like peripherals and as well as a lot of uh, uh, hookups and wires and all kinds of stuff that's in here so um, but it's mostly my N64 Super Nintendo games and stuff like that so let's get into this like I said here's my peripherals accessories there's my uh, extra pad for the 3DS um, before it got one um, there's my Nintendo DS, uh, which is beat to hell. Uh, a lot of wires and just extra stuff in that drawer. I'm not going to go through that. It's a mess in there. Uh, 
used to be my amiibo drawer as you can see the label here is my super famicom and nintendo or super nintendo drawer um so i super, my super nintendo is one of the systems i used to trade a lot you know i traded to get newer stuff and that's back when i used to trade so i'm i don't have as much as i would like so i'll be collecting at some point i guess to get my collection back up but here are some games that i have for it and uh, I, I actually bought a lot of Super Famicom games because uh, they were cheaper. Uh, like the Donkey Kong series here was much cheaper uh, uh, Japanese versions. Um, so I bought those uh, to re-up my collection here just to have the original games. And uh, you don't really need them in English because you can figure out what's going on. Star Fox 2 is a you know, aftermarket type of game uh, that somebody put together. Uh, using the old ROM. Uh, obviously now we have that with this SNES Classic, the original Star Fox 2, which is very cool. Uh, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island is in there. There's some N64 games, Superman 64, which everyone loves. Uh, some of my, uh, some of those uh, cards that came with the 3DS. Uh, then you have Star, uh, what is that? Uh, the shooter, the shoot 'em up. Um, Resident Evil 2 Classic, uh, Mega Man Legends, or Mega Man 64, as it's called on N64. And uh, yeah, let's put some of that stuff back. Let's move on to this drawer, which is again full of wires and all kinds of stuff that you know you could use <laughs> at whatever times. And there's more. There's some boxes that I flattened that are in here. Um, because it's hard to like have room to have all these boxes and some Super Nintendo games in there, some Sega Genesis stuff down there, 3D or uh, Game Boy Advance, not 3DS. And we have controllers. This is a Sega Saturn 3D controller, um, some tools, and uh, <clears throat> GameCube. I got GameCube controllers all over the place because I have I actually own four GameCubes. So I have a lot of peripheral stuff for that. Um, there's the original NES uh, cartridge sleeve, protect you from dust. Um, and if you're looking for original NES stuff, I don't have any of that because my mom has that stuff now. Um, she will not give it up. <laughs> and here is uh, my N64 collection. You guys, I've already done a series on these games. So if you want to in depth, you can go check that out on my channel. Um, I have a playlist for my N64 collection. Uh, so there's uh, Smash Brothers, Japanese version. Uh, Top Gear Rally, one of my favorite racers on the system. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Rogue Squadron, the original, the greatness. Uh, WCW NWO Revenge, you know, Mystical Ninja, Goman, uh, Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, all the greats. All the games you would want on your N64, I have them, and uh, it's, like I said, it's one of my <clears throat> favorite, well it's not one of my favorites, it is my favorite game console of all time, so uh, I got all the good stuff, Extreme G, uh, anything most people would want, N64 I have, there's my Surface World map for uh, Skyward Sword, which came with a special edition, the collector's edition, um, and this is my little cubby hole where I keep controllers and uh, other peripherals <clears throat> so yeah if you're wondering what's up with this um, it stopped working uh, my gold uh, weep motion plus Zelda controller and uh, I had to fix it and uh, didn't have the motion plus in it anymore so I needed to use the, uh, the adapter but yeah there's my uh, wave bird there's the fishing rod for the uh, Dreamcast. I believe that came from Stan. I don't think I had that anymore. There's my PS1 controller. There's my uh, Wii U Pro controller. Um, some junk. <laughs> uh, yeah, mostly GameCube stuff. Uh, my N64 Atomic Purple controller is in there. There's my Dreamcast with uh, uh, you know, other stuff. So yeah, that's that. I'm not gonna get it overly in depth with that. Then you there's my Wii U gamepad charger in the near my 3DS uh, charger right there. 
Um, I actually have two game pack chargers, so here's a wide, wider look at my beautiful, comfy uh, recliner there, which I love to death when I want to kick back and just uh, kind of casually play video games. I use this, and uh, there's a game, a bunch of games in that thing I'll show you in a minute, but let me show you the greatness of my uh, recliner here. It's got your up and down button, and uh, I think that speaks for itself. <laughs> so just kind of, yeah, look at that. Mm, that looks, look at that. Just kick back and relax in front of your TV and just, uh, you know, I'm sure there's a bunch of farts in the <laughs> upholstery <laughs> and chips and whatnot. Good stuff. Good stuff. We'll come back to that. There's my office chair for when I'm sitting up doing more serious things or if I'm like really into an intense game or something, I'm sitting that. There's my umbrella knockdown for uh, my light. Uh, there's my green screen folded up there behind the monitor. PS3 down there on the floor. Uh, my Dreamcast sitting on top of a hard drive. Um, and wires everywhere because that's what it takes. Uh, here's more amiibos on the wall over here. You saw that those earlier. Um, just a wider look at my games that you looked at earlier. And there's the case for a bunch more games we're about to get into. So get ready for that. Um, and there's a look at my, my Switch collection. As well as my TV there. And my camera on top of my t TV there. And uh, here's a look at the table where all the business happens, all the magic. Um, <laughs> again, there's my PC that I built, and next to it is my Mac Pro, where I do my professional stuff. Um, there's my N64. Get another look at it here is my Switch, uh, my Xbox 360. It's right there. Then next to my Switch, on the left is my Wii U gamepad with its uh, charger. Like I said, I have multiple chargers um, for that. There's my original Xbox. Here's a good, a better look at my uh, Wii U gamepad. The shiny, fingerprint-filled, glossy <laughs> device there with the uh, extra battery pack, so it doubles the battery life. I got that actually pretty recently, a couple months ago. Um, there's my obelisk and how do you say it? I just got this game for Switch and it came with these figurines and it's from a storied like uh, UK I think cartoon or TV series from back in the day uh, pretty cool little action platformer not really platformer action game um, here's a different shot here of my PlayStation 4 because when I recorded the main video my PS4 was actually in my bedroom so here it is I brought it back just so you can get a look at it, where I usually keep it, right there under my Switch. Because the Switch is on top, son. The Switch is on top. <laughs> and uh, here's a little pan shot of everything. Another shot of my Wii U gamepad. Here's my GameCube silver one. Behind it is, uh, you can't see it because it's covered in Switch games, but it's my purple GameCube's behind it. And stuff stacked on it, including my GameCube games. So we're just gonna slowly go up and you can see my Switch collection here. Labo and uh, Darksiders uh, Remastered. Uh, State of Mind, which is one of my favorites. Flashback, uh, Asterix and Obelix, which I talked about earlier, Mario Kart. You know, here's my virtual reality goggles for Labo VR. And here's my GameCube games, uh, Lord of the Rings great series on GameCube uh, or that just that era Star Wars all that good stuff and I don't keep my GameCube games in the case I actually keep them here in these spools like I get like I said I like the quick easy access to get to my games here's some of my comic books uh, some of these might have come from Stan just so you know there's a, a close-up of Asterix and Obelix fag figurines uh, here's my Monster Hunter 3 or my Monster Hunter <laughs> Ultimate um, 3DS is what I'm trying to say. Uh, special Edition. Sega CD, that's Stan. I think all of these are Stan. Uh, and 
uh, Virtual Cop is, is mine. Uh, and Bug Two is mine. It's hard for me to remember on some of these because some of these I these are duplicates. I didn't have the big case, but I had like uh, uh, at least loose copies of these games. Like I have uh, Pandemonium is mine, but I think Bug Two I have a loose copy of, but I got one from Stan as well. It's my dusty ass Sega Saturn. Uh, this is my Sega Saturn, <laughs> uh, my original Sega Saturn. I got a couple more Sega Saturns from Stan. Um, I gave one away to uh, my nephew and I have one in the closet, which you'll see later. Uh, and I thought there was gonna be a game in there, but it's not. But yeah, there's my Sega Saturn, dusty as hell. Um, obviously there's my Xbox 360. There's my case with some Switch games, which I'll show you guys later. And there's my sticker that my daughter insists I put on there. Um, here are my SNES uh, and NES Mini Classics, Classic Minis. Um, and I have modded these, so they have pretty much every game on Super Nintendo that you would want. Um, already uh, built in, so that's cool. Um, and here is my microphone. You guys would be hearing me through this actual mic that I use for my videos and here is my mouse pad that my wife gave me uh, for my birthday recently uh, which is pretty cool it's like a table wide mouse pad it's my N64 my pro controller for my switch um, but uh, yeah uh, this is what I used to do my recording I just bought a microphone that plugs into my iPod touch here um, this is a really good mic and you just download an app for recording and you record through this mic and it is excellent and it's very cheap this is a very cheap way to get really good audio uh, there's my other dreamcast controller here we have the 32x from stan um uh, inbox stuff is usually stan uh, inbox sega stuff i should say because um he, that's the only stuff i got from stan uh, there's a sega cd but you'll see later it's a Sega CD inbox there, 32X inbox. Those are his, or not his, but from him. Um, and then you'll see my loose ones later on. There's my Dreamcast, and I keep these two little, uh, what do I call them, buckets? I don't know what to call them. But there is my, uh, I'll show you in another video, my hookups and how I hook up all this stuff pretty much at once. Uh, there's another look at my, my uh, green screen, blue screen, fold it up there, but this is my little cubby hole where I keep my controllers on the ready so I can get to them. Easy access, quick access. This is my uh, my Wii, obviously, and uh, Xbox One. And my original Xbox controller there. And uh, all the stuff I, I would need, chargers and stuff are in there for these controllers. Um, at least the ones that use the chargers, so very quick easy access and then under that um, put my Xbox 360 controller back under that I have games on the ready games that I'm working through um, you know, backlog or whatever or games that I just feel like playing right now so these these are the ones I keep out on the ready uh, to play and you'll see you know you see Sega Saturn you see Xbox one and 360 Keep them there quick on the ready, but I also have quick on the ready games from other consoles in a minute, and you'll see that. There's my N64 with Star Fox 64 in it, of course. Uh, one of my favorite games on the system and my favorite game system of all time. There's my black GameCube with the Wave Bird in there with the uh, many videos ago I showed you my uh, Metroid sticker and how the green lights up, and that is my... Uh, GameCube adapter for Switch. There's the hookups. That's where it's going right there. And it goes down to there. And then there's my black Wii, um, which is a, a Wii I bought later. My day one Wii is actually white. Um, this one I started using because uh, my original Wii is AV's starting to have issues. There's my Xbox One with uh, some stickers on it because I'm funny like that. And here's my Mac. Pro, I get my pro work done, you know, my major video editing 
for the biz. And then here's my, again, <laughs> my uh, gaming PC that I you know, put some LEDs in to make it look cool. Um, uh, nothing too crazy. Does the job, gets the do job done. I can play games very comfortably on it. So here's a look in the window so you can see all the interesting things going on inside. So interesting, right? Right, the titty flops. Look at the titty flops. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with the top drawer here, which is mostly Xbox original games. Um, my Switch games actually is where I, this is where I usually keep my Switch games. So I took them out and stacked them uh, for the purpose of this video. So let's go through these bad boys and uh, you can see what I got for my OG Xbox. Um, there's Blinks, <clears throat> Brute Force. Uh, these are, uh, I believe these are, yeah, these are uh, only on Xbox. Uh, Panzer Dragoon, I actually got the case for it. That's uh, Van Helsing, which is actually a really good game, licensed game for somewhat bad movie. Uh, and here's Oddworld Munch's Odyssey, only on Xbox again. Um, some of these games might be on digital somewhere, but back then it weren't. Predator, which is a really, really good game. Blood Wake, which is a pretty awesome, uh, uh, only on Xbox exclusive game. Psychonauts, which I thought was exclusive, but I think it came out on PlayStation 2 later. I don't think it came out at the same time. Pac-Man World 2, pretty good. Silent Hill 2, really good. Um, I'm not overly into horror games, but I play some of them once, once in a while. Crimson Skies, really good game. Uh, Hunter the Reckoning, Diablo style, pretty cool game. Uh, then we have the Grand Theft Auto games, uh, Vice City and uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, which you guys know about, so I don't need to introduce those. And then the copycats, <laughs> True Crime, New York City and True Crime, uh, Streets of LA. Uh, after Grand Theft Auto blew up, there was a bunch of games came out trying to kind of trying to jack the style kind of uh, we have the original forza motorsport um, i'm a fan of that series um, they took over for me after grand theft auto oh, not, uh, for gran turismo and siberia which i recently bought on switch again splinter cell um, which shined on xbox og splinter cell series chaos theory and uh legends of wrestling um it's okay i just wanted it because it has all those cool Legends of Wrestling. Uh, <clears throat> what's this game? Uh, Dreamfall. Uh, series Sam Collection, which eh, it's okay. I'm not too huge into that series, but it's all right. Um, then we have uh, the Hulk from the movie, 2003 movie. Uh, Burnout 3, which I liked, but you know I'll talk about that some other time. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, that's greatness. Uh, Star Wars Republic Com Commando, that's greatness. Um, Hulk Ultimate Destruction, greatness. This is the best Hulk game out there. You should definitely get that one. Um, it's on GameCube 2, I believe. Uh, Mech Assault. Uh, Y'all love my mech games. <laughs> uh, Matrix Path of Neo, which is the uh, Matrix game we wanted in the beginning, but we actually got uh, this other Matrix game first, Enter the Matrix. Um, which tied into the movies and stuff in weird ways, but uh, it was okay. It was all right at the time. Commandos, which is an RTS game. Um, I picked those up once in a while. Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay, really good game. And you'll see this game again in a minute. So let's put that back. Second drawer. This is my handheld mostly drawer. My 3DS, PSP, uh, stuff like that. I have, this is some of my favorite stuff in my game collection. Um, PSP is one of my favorite uh, handhelds. Uh, until the 3DS, it was probably my favorite handheld. Uh, so here you go, Super Mario 3D Land. I'm gonna show you some of the greats. Uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star, which everyone loves, of course. <laughs> Uh, Star Fox 64 3D, greatness. Uh, Tamadachi Life is greatness. Really cool, quirky-ass game. Um, 
the, the remake for Zelda Ocarina of Time, beautiful. And Majora's Mask, also beautiful. Uh, Link Between Worlds, greatness. Kid Icarus Uprising, greatness. Alright, and then we have Sonic Boom, great. No, just kidding. <laughs> that was my son's game, actually. Chibi Robo Zip Trash. <laughs> it was pretty garbage. <laughs> I got the game for the Amiibo. I'm not even going to front. Um, then we have uh, <clears throat> Professor Layton games, which I love. I love the art style in these games. I love the stories. Uh, the gameplay is awesome. Uh, there's uh, Phantom Hourglass. Um, not, not, not that great. Um, but yeah, the Professor Layton DS games are great, man. Great games. Um, DS is it's my second favorite handheld of all time. Um, and it's tied pretty much with the 3DS. Got Pokemon there. Shima got me Tensei 4, greatness. Uh, Fire Emblem Awakening, greatness. Uh, what else here? Let's see. Um, Steam World Dig, please get this game, people. You're sleeping on hidden greatness right there. Steam World Dig. Or uh, Steam World. Uh, Heroes of Ruin, really good game from Square. Nobody talks about, but it's one of the really good early 3DS games. Uh, Lego City Undercover, the prequel to the console game. Really good. Enjoyed the hell out of that too. Uh, what else we got? Uh, we have Animal Crossing. I mean, come on. Animal Crossing New Leaf. If you ain't played this game, what you doing? If you're an Animal Crossing fan anyway. Um, Yokai Watch 2. I haven't even touched this game actually yet. Uh, played, Yo played through one. And I wanted to get three, but it's way too expensive. There's one. Uh, but I can't find three in a, with a reasonable price. And maybe they'll be coming to Switch at some point. So let's put uh, Pokemon X back. All right, and this is Metroid uh, Samus Returns. Um, this is just a reversible sleeve that makes it look like the original Game Boy game, which is very cool. So let's pop it open so you can see. Flip it over, there's uh, Samus Returns there. Um, very clever, because obviously it's a remake um, of the original Metroid 2. And uh, Need for Speed, Most Wanted. These are really good games on PSP. NBA Live 10. Uh, again, Fan of Siphon Filter, Logan Shadow. Um, some of these games are actually, I got a lot of duplicate for PSP because I buy them in lots. Oh, this game, Pursuit Force, is really good. That's a great series. Um, like I said, uh, Siphon Filter, they're really popular games, so they end up in lots a lot, so I end up with duplicates. So you'll see some of these are still sealed. Um, but I have um, games that I actually play that are open, uh, that are duplicates, so. Monster Hunter, I mean, what do I need to say about Monster Hunter? You know about that. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, really good game. If you haven't played it, um, I think the original, it's originally on PS1, I have that one too. Ape Escape on the Loose, really fun game, really fun platformer, mascot. And here you go, see Dark Mirror is sealed. Cause like I said, the PSP games, they, you know, that's a good system to collect for cause it's, the games are really cheap right now. And uh, if you like PSP, it's a really good time to collect for it. Um, SOCOM, I have, <clears throat> for whatever reasons, I end up with a bunch of SOCOM games, uh, buying a lot of six or seven or something like that. There's always a SOCOM game in there. Metal Gear Acid is actually really good. Um, it's turn-based Metal Gear game, really fun. Uh, My Spanish Coach, uh, if you want to learn Espanol, <laughs> uh, pretty cool little application there. Uh, Third Birthday is actually the sequel to Parasite Eve, if you guys know that series from PlayStation original, PS1. Um, then we have my puzzlers I like, my puzzle platformers, Exit. Uh, there's NBA, I think 989 did this, I'm not sure. Um, one of the last games they did. Uh, there's another puzzler, ex uh, Every Extend Extra, Triple E, that's what I call it. Um, MLB The Show, you guys know that series, uh, Sony owns, uh, Smackdown, I mean, 
you know what this is, <laughs> obviously. Uh, let's see here. Here's another puzzler, Smart Bomb. This is pretty fun. A little generic, but pretty fun. Here we have, uh, I've never actually played this. This is a game I got in a lot, Invisimals. I think you need a peripheral for it. Uh, here's another cool puzzler, Mercury, you know, physics-based puzzler. Love those when they're, when they're, when they're well done. Uh, what we got here, Jean d'Arc. Is that what this is? No, Polo Cross. Um, then, you know, um, Final Fantasy. Uh, Wipeout Pure. I have a bunch of copies of Wipeout Pure. This one's sealed. That's why it's sealed because I have open copies of it. Like I said, these, some of these games you see all the time in the lots, and the lots are cheap enough you still want to buy them. Worms, you know, the Worm series. Um, the lots are cheap enough you still want to buy them, even if you have, even if it has games that you already own in it. So sometimes I'll just go ahead and just buy that lot anyway. Um, this is a really cool little uh, puzzle, kind of a platformer. Um, highly recommend this one if you have a PSP. Um, I've had this game forever and just started playing it recently. So there's Monster Hunter uh, Frontier or Freedom. Uh, then you have Kill Zone, which is very different from the. Uh, it's a top-down kind of shooter game. It's not first-person shooter like the uh, the PlayStation 3 game. Uh, oh, Pixel Junk Monsters. Great, great game. You guys should definitely get this. The sequel is actually out on Switch and uh, other platforms, but it's really good. A really good tower defense type of game. Really fun. Highly recommend that game. Uh, highly recommend the sequel. Should get the sequel. Uh, this is Jean d'Arc, um, which is uh, one of the more rare collectible games. Um, Lords of Arcana. It's okay, Square Enix game, action RPG. Um, let's see, Loco Roco. There's another game that I have a bunch of copies of. This one is sealed, I believe. Yeah, it's sealed. So, but I I have open copy. I have an open copy of it that I play. So I'm not that kind of collector that has to get sealed stuff. Contra Four was Return to Contra Greatness. Um, love the Contra series. Star Fox. Uh, Command didn't like the art style of this game, but it was a good game. Um, nice strategy stuff in there. Trauma Center. I'm a huge fan of the Trauma Center series. I have both Wii games and obviously the 3DS or the DS one, which started it all for me. Luminous series, really good puzzlers. Uh, Luminous 2 there, and there's Luminous 1. Both of those game, both these games are remastered right now on Switch. You can download them from the eShop. Really good. Midnight Club. Dub edition. I was really into those uh, kind of uh, sports games, sports racing games, where you tweak your car and all that cool stuff. This drawer is mostly Sega Saturn stuff and Sega CD. Um, some PlayStation in here. Um, I believe this is Stan, but again, Virtual Fighter 2. This is, this is a duplicate. I already had Virtual Fighter 2. Mist. Um, you know what Mist is? I mean, come on. Uh, Earthworm Gem 2. Classic. Um, Earthworm Jim. Um, this, I mean, it's not a great game, Robotica, but it's okay. Um, I think that's Stan. I'm not sure. That's from Stan. Uh, Clockwork Knight. Um, this is a duplicate. I have Clockwork Knight. Um, I think that's also from Stan. Bratz is one of the greatest games of all time. No, I'm kidding. I don't know why I have that. I think I got it with a lot. Skeleton Warriors is a really good side scroller. Definitely should pick that up. Now, most of these uh, sports games are Stan. Uh, I acquired them from Stan because he really wants you to know which games he gave me. So, the Maddens, um, College Slams. Um, I didn't buy a whole bunch of sports games on my Saturn. Um, I mostly played sports games if I had them on my N64. That's where I played most of my sports games. Uh, so, Crime Wave, I don't know. I don't know if this is Stan or not. Could be. Uh, oh, no, look, a uh, Switch game sighting flashback. Collector's Edition. Uh, let's put that back. Battle Arena Toshinden, I'm pretty sure that's me. Um, Baku Baku, I'm pretty sure that's me. Puzzle game. Um, the Crow, 
one of the greatest soundtracks for a movie of all time. Just perfect soundtrack. Uh, Croc. Uh, I'm gonna do a video on Croc at some point. There's a nice little backstory to that game. Um, so we're getting to a you know, Smash Brothers uh, soundtrack. Getting to some soundtracks here after the Crow. Uh, Banjo Kazooie soundtrack, which is a pre-order bonus I got with the game. Uh, bug, there's Bug. Is that two? Uh, again, like I said, I got duplicates. Uh, you know, NFL '97. That's most likely Stan. Uh, that's most likely Stan as well. Quarterback Club. I played Quarterback Club mostly on N64. So uh, hockey. That's definitely Stan. I don't think I bought any hockey games for Sega Saturn at the time. Um, World Series Baseball, that's Stan. So all the sports games, like I said, most of the sports games, probably 90% of the sports games, I got from Stan on Sega Saturn. Um, and Street Fighters, we'll get into that in a little bit. But here is Panzer Dragoon Saga, Azel. Um, I don't have the North American copy. I wish I did. It goes for like $800, some obscene number now. Um, but there's a system coming out pretty soon, the Polymega, which will allow me to play this and uh, download the patch so I can play it in English, which is pretty cool. So, um, Shinmu. Uh, Stan says he gave me Shinmu, but you know, no. <laughs> I was a Shinmu fan from day one, pre ordered that game. Um, I may have a duplicate Shinmu from him, um, but Shinmu is definitely a game I bought day one. I pre-ordered and whatnot. Burning Rangers is one of the coolest games. This is from Sonic Team. When they were fumbling around trying to figure out what they're going to do with Sonic <laughs> on Saturn, which they never never did anything with. But uh, this is a really cool game. Pretty short. It's more of a it's more of a tech demo. Reminds me of kind of like Luigi's Mansion, where it's a short game that with really cool graphics and pretty cool mechanic. Uh, there's a soundtrack CD there. Um, yeah, so let's go to the next drawer. Got Cybermorph for this Atari Jaguar. I bought this game. Um, Stan gave me the Jaguar that I have though. Uh, NBA Jam, I'm pretty sure that's me. NHL 97, that's likely Stan. NBA Live is likely Stan. Uh, let's see what else. Um, Ground Zero, that's probably Stan. I'm not sure. I think that's mine. Uh, I think that I got bought that. NHL, that's definitely Stan. Uh, then we got some movies here for the PSP Sandlot 1 and 2. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, the Oscar masterpiece. Uh, the quiz game, Buzz. Friday Night Lights, really good movie if you haven't seen it. They made a TV show out of it. Uh, Lord of the Rings Tactics, decent uh, RPG game, Lord of the Rings based. Ice Age, you know Ice Age, I mean, come on. Hollow Man, uh, it was all right. My wife's in it though, so it's all good. <laughs> Zathura, uh, I don't think I even watched that. I don't know what that is. Uh, again, Pixel Junk Monsters, uh, sealed copy, because it's a good game. <laughs> Uh, Marvel Capcom 3, meh. Oh, here's my uh, guitar strings. I play guitar a little bit. Heavenly Sword. Um, it's okay. A lot of people like that game. The frame rate is awful. Sly Cooper uh, HD Collection. You'll see some of that coming. Ratchet and Clank HD Collection. That's what most of my PlayStation 3 gaming consisted of. HD Collection for PS2 games. Devil May Cry HD Collection. Uh, Jack and Daxter HD Collection. I didn't really play PS2 that much, and so I just went back and got these HD collections to play the game series and stuff that I missed. Uh, you know what this is. This just got released not too long ago for Switch and other consoles. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. I went back to play these bad boys. Because uh, these are all systems. Uh, Zone of Enders. Uh, Kojima's best games as far as I'm concerned. More Kingdom Hearts uh, remaster for HD. Uh, Uncharted. Now, this is my series for PlayStation 3. Uh, really like the Uncharted series. Wet. Uh, all Flash. Little Substance. 
it's an okay game. Grandia for Sega Saturn. Um, I talked about how I played that game and uh, one of my favorites on Sega Saturn, uh, the X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Great, great game. Um, used to spend hours and hours and quarters and quarters in the arcade. 007 Nightfire for PS2. Never played it on PS2, only played it on GameCube. Uh, 007 Everything or Nothing. I have this on GameCube. I don't know how I ended up with these. Pro probably bought it in a lot. Resident Evil 4. Never played it on PlayStation. These games are likely from a lot that I bought. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. I did play on PS2 actually. Swing Away Golf. I like those arcadey golf games. Scooby Doo. Um, this could be Stan. I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> now, more Wii stuff. Greatness. Um, let's see here. We got Metroid Prime Trilogy. Uh, I just love how it looks. This case, this package here is just beautiful. Uh, but I also have it um, downloaded onto my Wii U. So I don't play it much. Resident Evil 4. This is the definitive version of it. No need to buy any HD or any of that stuff. Dead Rising, uh, Wii Sports Resort, the one Wii Sports game people don't talk about. We got Gianna Sisters, this is a sealed copy because I have it digitally. Um, and I was gonna collect for Wii U, but that stopped. Unwritten Tales 2, um, Batman Arkham, you guys know what this is. I mean, no introduction necessary. Uh, <clears throat> Crisis 2, again, no introduction necessary. Bulletstorm, which is coming out on Switch, which I, which I predicted. Uh, King is a Amalar, Amalar, really good game that THQ is going to be bringing back. They have the rights to it now. Uh, Dragon Age, um, you know what that is, come on. Uh, Mirror's Edge. Uh, Far Cry compilation, really good stuff in there. Uh, let's see. Sonic Generations, one of the last good Sonic games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mega Man Collection. Uh, I think that's Stan. Shadow of the Apocalypse. Yeah, Shadow of the Apocalypse. Uh, Final Fantasy 13 or 12. Went to 13. Um, what we got here? Gran Turismo 4. I did play this on PS2. Actually, one of the few games I played on PS2. Gran Turismo 3 as well. I'm a big fan of the series. So, uh, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship. Played that on PS2 as well. Um, uh, Ace Combat, fan of that series. I actually have it on 3DS as well. Terminator 3, um, I just a Terminator fan. The game wasn't that good. <laughs> uh, MX uh, Unleashed, Hot Shots Golf. Again, you'll see golf games everywhere. And the Xeno Saga, of course. PS2, I played that there. Uh, Soul Calibur 3. Didn't like it as much as 2, but still good. And now we're getting to Xbox One and PS4. That's Halo 5. Halo Master Chief Collection. Uh, what else we got here? Phantom Pain, which I. It's a pain for me to finish. <laughs> I haven't gotten through that game. Um, Alien Isolation. Really good. Really good game. Coming to Switch pretty soon, actually. Or forgotten Shadow Warrior is a remake of that old PC game really good uh, Deus Ex Mankind Divided have not touched this yet um, I'm a fan of Deus Ex games Tomb Raider great game Re I brought Tomb Raider back Sunset Overdrive the reason I bought an Xbox one along with Master Chief Collection uh, Sleeping Dogs pretty good um, I haven't gotten through it yet it's okay uh, this is a remaster of the game, I believe. Um, Tomb Raider Definitive. Uh, and then uh, a Rise of the Tomb Raider. So you got Shadow Rise and Tomb Raider. Love all those games. Rare Replay. Great, great compilation. Great uh, production value there. Uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, Batman Arkham don't care <laughs> no it was all right the surge uh super generic game <laughs> that's getting a sequel apparently we have forza 5 here big fan of the forza series uh yeah shadows of mordor which i couldn't finish uh titanfall 2 which is pretty pretty great campaign 
uh, that game Recore, which I really like a lot. I know a lot of people don't care for it. Uh, the outfit, kind of generic, but fun. Uh, come on, Jet Force, uh, Jet Set Radio, Future, Greatness, Sega GT 2002 is okay. Bloodstone, this is a really good uh, uh, 007 game that people don't really talk about. Uh, Tomb Raider, uh, really good. Doom 3 was okay, a little slow for Doom, but you know, BFG collection there. There's Bioshock, really good game. Bioshock Infinite. Uh, Metal Gear Rising, Revengeance, LA Noir. I mean, I don't need to introduce any of these games. Ghostbusters, which is getting a remaster pretty soon, somewhat remaster. Uh, Gears of War 2. Of all the Gears games, 1, 2, and 3, and 4, 5's coming. Uh, Mass Effect 2, classic. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, classic. Shenmue 2, classic. Shenmue 3's coming soon, folks. Remember me. Nobody remembers you, but you're an okay game. Uh, then we have V-Rally 3. Uh, V-Rally 4 is actually on Switch. Uh, Chronicles of Riddick, there's the remaster of the game, really good. It includes the original Xbox version, so that's cool. Bad Boys, this game is so awesome, awesomely terrible. It's bad. I bought it because it's terrible, and uh, I had to see for myself. The Heavy Rain Beyond Two Souls collection for PS4. Uh, Last of Us uh, remastered, which I didn't care for that game as much as a lot of people. Uh, Borderlands Handsome Jack collection, Borderlands fan. Uncharted, Lost Legacy, still need to play this, haven't played it yet. Watch Dogs 2, I kind of gave up on it, but I'm going to get back into it. It's better than 1 for sure, and then Horizon Zero Dawn, which is a game I'm about to get into right now, pretty soon. Uh, Tearaway, I heard many, many great things, so I had to buy it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to check it out. Hopefully it's as good as it looks, or it's been told. And here's my game case. Like I said, I like easy access, quick access to my games, so I don't put them in the uh, their actual cases. I like to be able to get to them quickly. So here is my on the ready uh, Switch games. These are the games I'm working through, um, or I'm just I'm playing regularly. Um, you know, so I can have easy, quick access to them. I leave them up on my my desk here, my table here, so I can get to them quickly. And uh, you know easily work through them without having to go and pull them out of their cases and stuff. So here's an, here's the games that I've mostly beaten um, and, or uh, you know I'll, maybe I'll come back to every once in a while but my 3DS and DS cases I do the same with those so I can quickly get to those um, I also, so I have these little cases here so I can get to those games and quick access good stuff. So here is my loose games uh, uh, kind of a uh, notebook uh, this was this notebook itself was given to me by Stan, and it came with all these burned uh, Dreamcast games, which I have not played. Because uh, playing burned Dreamcast games is not good for your Dreamcast lens, so um, I don't do it. Um, but you know, Stan gave them to me, so I'm gonna keep them here. Well, let's get past these though. There's a bunch of them. I think some of them might be PlayStation or something too, but. Most of them are Dreamcast, you see DC. They boot right from the disc. And here's my PlayStation games. You got Chrono Cross, uh, Spec Ops, Battle Stations, I have a duplicate as you can see. <laughs> uh, Space Invaders, Pool, I love pool games. I just downloaded one for Switch. I love uh, Gunship, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Some of this stuff, again, came in lots. PS1 especially, you can get a bunch of, uh, not great games, but a bunch of games, you buy them together. Um, Tekken 2, Pong, Rainbow Six, Atari Collection, uh, The Bigs, Celebrity Deathmatch, <laughs> remember that show? Um, Gran Turismo, uh, Demo Disc and all that good stuff, Pimp My Ride, I don't think I ever played that ever. Episode 3, Star Wars, more demo discs there, um, Prince of Persia, demo disc, uh, Blue Stinger for Dreamcast, uh, pretty good, 
Um, NBA 2K1, Dreamcast, great game. Uh, Naruto, Yu-Gi-Oh, PlayStation games. These are games I actually have play, played on PS2 uh, or PS3 using the backwards compatible one, which you'll see in a minute. Panzer Dragoon. I think I have a duplicate. Oh, that's a duplicate. Um, and there's uh, Atagi, really good Sega game. And there, oh, there is a duplicate of uh, Shenmue there. Um, there's NHL. Uh, Rainbow Six. I played a lot of military shooters on the Xbox OG. So you'll see a bunch of that. There's, there's some SpongeBob, uh, Ghost Recon, the Wii, uh, ATV2. Like those games, pretty fun. Shrek 2, Morrowind, Loose. I actually have Morrowind in a case. I haven't, I haven't shown you guys every one of my games because that would take forever. Just want to give you an overview. Um, Kingdom Hearts, Crash, uh, Epic Mickey. I think that's just the uh, extras disc. Here's some more PlayStation OG games, PlayStation 1 games. Another Bratz game. Cause I love brats. No, Dark Savior for Saturn. Really good game. Um, that one's loose, but I actually have it in the case. Um, Pac-Man World. Or Pac-Man. What is it called? Two for Wii U. Mass Effect. That one's loose. I actually have it in the case. Uh, some of these are. Most of these are. Not most of them, but a lot of these are duplicates. Beautiful Joe. This is a duplicate. Um, Ghost Recon. That one, I don't think it is. Um, uh, yeah, definitely Halo ODST is a duplicate. So here's my Starlink ships and my Donkey Kong bongos. Very cool. This is obviously my art, or my CRT TV with a Sony like high-end uh, VHS player. And here's my Game Over book. There's some. Uh, there's some uh, gaming magazines, uh, guides and whatnot in there, as well as comic books. There's my Jungle Green N64. Th that's where I bought uh, Donkey Kong 64. I bought the new system for that. And here are my uh, E3 d uh, DVDs. Uh, back in the day, I used to watch E3 on these DVDs. Bought these DVDs to get full access to E3. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, before my internet was good enough to to watch it like that. Uh, there's my loose PSP games here inside of my Superman uh, lunchbox. Um, there's my PSP charger. Uh, uh, Perfect Dark for a Game Boy with the rumble capabilities. Pretty cool. Um, Castlevania Legends, I believe that is from Stan. That's my Pokemon. Uh, and then a lot of my loose, like I said, PSP games are in here. Uh, some movies, but mostly games. Um, yeah. So here is my N64 games that I currently work through. I keep those separate so I can quick access to them in this little case here. F Zero, Star Shot, uh, Donkey Kong 64. Here is my beautiful uh, Super Mario Switch case, which I love. Nice overall buttons and stuff. Pretty cool. Love this thing. Had to get it when I saw it. There's my original PlayStation 3, the backwards compatible one, the one that had everything. Um, you know, this is when I sat outside for for a week with my friend, and uh, yeah. It had all the, it had everything. This is the decked out $600 one. The one you're supposed to get two jobs for, cast where I said. So there's that, has the SD slot, the CF card reader and all that good, all that goodness along with some nice dust. And yes, it still works. Um, I just haven't played it cause I use my slim. So yeah. And now to wrap this video up with the tour of my gaming closet here. This is all I have left to show you guys in this video. So here's a look at my gaming closet. We're gonna get into some of the stuff in here. So yeah, there's a nice wide shot of the good stuff I have in here. 
I'm going to start with the last story, special edition, or collector's edition, I'm not, not sure what it was called. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, that's an aftermarket case there. Um, there's an amiibo for um, Wolf Link, and a special edition for Skyward Sword, and Smash Brothers with the controller and the uh, adapter. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 special editions. Um, I love my RPG special editions. Octopath Traveler special, uh, Wayfarer's edition, which is a special edition. Um, then we have Sinran Kagura, which is a really cool action fighting game, beat em up game. Uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions special edition. Uh, Shantae, uh, Half Genie Hero special edition. Uh, then you have Star Fox Zero. You saw Star Fox Guard earlier, it came in this nice. Uh, collectors looking set up All right, and then we have the Eclipse stick which is that stand when the purples he gave me There's a uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4 special edition for 3ds um, Back there I believe is the uh, the camera for uh, For the Xbox one that came from Stan. I don't use it net link from Stan is my special edition from Asterix and Obelix for Switch, the Atari Jaguar, which is from Stan. Uh, there is my my uh, Voltron Cats, uh, Castlevania Legends. That Stan. Um, the Star Wars toys here, I believe I got from Stan, as well as this Capcom controller for PS1. That is also Stan. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure that is. And then we have the NES Classic box and we have the box for the pro controller and the charging uh, grip and we have Metroid uh, Samus Returns and then the box for uh, SES Classic Mini and then in the hunt I think that's Stan I'm not sure um, Astral uh, this version one here might be from Stan but I have a duplicate of Astral um, so I'm not sure which one is which. Um, here's my Wii U. Uh, Iron Soldier. Um, I'm pretty sure that's mine, but that might have been from Stan. I'm not sure. Uh, Switch. Box, obviously. Uh, 2DS. With uh, Mario Kart 7. Uh, here's my Super Nintendo. Contra Alien Wars box. Street Fighter 2 box. There is my original Wii. I keep it in here. Street Fighter Collection, that is Stan for sure. Um, there's my my extra uh, Joy-Con box. There's my box for my 3DS Monster Hunter, Hunter Edition. Um, there's my Super Mario Maker for Wii U. The original that started it all. Uh, my original PlayStation 1. And then the PS1, which is the basically a slim version which I bought and there's the black lion from Voltron and there's my box for Robocop vs. the Terminator one of my favorite Super Nintendo games I love the case for it too Alien 3 is also a really good Super Nintendo game from LBJ um, here's the Sega Saturn from Stan that I already had my own Sega Saturn here's the Dreamcast inbox from Stan um, it's not brand new or anything, but it's in box. Those are the uh, grips with the batteries I bought not too long ago. And down here, you'll see my other purple GameCube with the transfer pack for the N64. There's my PS2 Slim, um, which I barely played, but I played some games on it, as I said. Um, here's, uh, I think this one is from Stan. This is the original. Sega Genesis. Um, I only had one 3D controller for uh, Sega Saturn, so the rest of them are from Stan. Uh, this Super Nintendo is mine. Uh, there should be another one in here from that one's from Stan. That Dreamcast is from Stan. That uh, uh, peripheral there, gun peripheral, is from Stan. This is my Sega Genesis and my Sega CD. Um, haven't hooked it up in forever, so. And uh, yeah, that's it. So there it is, guys. That is my collection 
of awesome games. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this for a while and certain circumstances kind of pushed that back, but I finally got it done. You got to see all my games. Well, not all of them. Most of the games you got this. Most of my games you got to see. I do have stuff in storage. Um, as far as video game magazines, you just got a glimpse of them. I think I'm going to do a separate video to show you just like my gaming magazine collection, um, which I'm very happy and proud of as well. Uh, you'll be able to see, you know, Game Informer, my Nintendo Powers, and Game Pro, just all the cool magazines I've collected, as well as game guides. I, I have picked up gaming guides over the years. Uh, most of them I haven't really used. Um, sometimes they give you this kind of deal when you buy a new game. They used to do that back in the day. I don't know if they do that anymore. But they used to give you this deal of you know getting whatever half off of an, on a game guide. You bought it like when the game came out, launch day or something. So that was a thing. So um, I acquired lots of game guides over that, and I just some of them look really cool. Like some of the Zelda ones look really nice. Uh, Mario Galaxy one, I really liked how it looked. So. Uh, and they do help, you know, when you get stuck or if you just want 100% stuff, which I do from time to time on 100% games and depending on the game, I don't want to be spoiled by anything. Once I beat the game and got all I think I can get out of it with the game guide and really dig into the nooks and crannies of games. So I have game guides uh, that I bought over the years for that. So anyway, that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed my tour and I hope you look forward to future videos where I talk about specific collections like my PSP, I've been wanting to do one on that. GameCube is another one I want to do a specific video on. Um, Dreamcast, stuff like that. So yeah, look forward to those in the future. Let me hear about your collection. I want to know what you guys got, uh, what you're looking for, or you're looking to collect anything. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you again for watching and listening, and I'll see you fools next time. Peace out.